I'm here on the uh, Dr. Andrew Weil uh, Fellowship um, on Public Health uh, with a focus on the opioid epidemic. Right now, today, last year, 100,000 Americans uh, fatally overdosed um, from opioids. Um, but that has, number has been growing um, steadily over the past uh, two to three decades and is continuing to grow. We're not, we're not seeing that um, go down in any way. The United States is uh, over, fatal overdose numbers are 14 times that of Europe. Um, you know, that's an appalling, appalling number. My fellowship looks at um, the Netherlands, Portugal, and Brazil um, to figure out what are those countries doing, because those countries are the pioneers of public health in this space, uh, and what can we learn from them. The Dutch were the pioneers of harm reduction uh, 40 years ago uh, when they had their uh, opioid crisis uh, in the 1970s and 1980s. And so my plan is to spend seven months there um, and then go to uh, Portugal um, in November, and they uh, were one of the first countries to fully decriminalize drugs. Um, and so one of the things that I want to learn from Portugal is figuring out, you know, how did their decriminalization work? Brazil, uh, back in 2006, implemented drug-style um, laws, um, you know, to kind of mirror, um, you know, the Netherlands model. And so my fellowship will be about going to Brazil and figuring out in a uh, multi-ethnic, you know, 200 plus million uh, people uh, geographic um, expanse uh, to see how, you know, those types of laws work in, in a big country and what lessons we can learn from Brazil in that way. During this fellowship, I'm really looking at the full spectrum of drug use because if we just focus on, um, you know, the folks who are using it at the street, well, we're really doing a disservice uh, to the people who are using drugs across society. And so one of my hopes uh, when I'm in the Netherlands, uh, Portugal, and, and Brazil, is to be able to look at those cross-section of societies and gain lessons of, you know, what uh, recovery programs can work best for, for each group. I'll be writing the, the monthly dispatches. Um, you know, I'll also uh, have a, a personal uh, email um, kind of listserv uh, list that I'll be sending out to, you know, kind of policymakers and, and folks that I meet along the way who, who are interested in this. I'm really grateful for uh, Dr. Andrew Wiles um, you know, funding of, the, of this program and really the focus on public health. This is an opportunity for me to really engage and learn, you know, what other countries are doing, you know, with this focus on finding solutions. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, we're here to help people. The IQA Fellowship is about learning, you know, how other countries, how other societies, you know, solve the same problems that we have. We all have the same problems. One of my hopes is that I'd be able to come back to the United States uh, and be in a policymaking role um, so that I can kind of take those lessons that I've learned from abroad and really implement them here in the United States. I've also We'll certainly consider, you know, maybe working at an uh, international institution um, such as the UN or the World Health Organization, um, and take those lessons that I've learned uh, so that others can 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 share in that and, and learn from it as well. You know, I think a lot of other programs uh, have a very regimented belief in what their fellows should get out of it or need to get out of it or who they should be talking to and who they shouldn't be talking to. And one of the beautiful things about ICWA is that, you know, uh, the director and the whole team really support you in really going out uh, and following your nose and really going out there and going to, to the end of the tunnel, going to the bottom of the mine, going, you know, to the top of the, the mountain um, and really, you know, pursuing that idea to the very end, regardless of where it leads, because uh, sometimes you'll find that next new brilliant idea that nobody had ever found before, uh, or you'll fail, uh, and then but they'll encourage you to go to the next one. So I mean, that's the inter institutional support that it gives us as fellows is really this ability uh, to go out there and know that regardless, we uh, they have our back.